So let me tell you, salvation is of the heart, meaning that God renews your heart from hate to love. That's why he said you must be born again. You must be born again from the spirit of Satan, return to the spirit of God, the nature of God. And God's nature is all love all the time. No matter what happened in life, you cannot get away from that. Once you return to the Father, it's impossible to leave. He doesn't throw you out of the club, right? But the most important part of that, once your heart is renewed, you now have the power to overcome all things. All things. You know how you're in a fallen state, when you're in that fallen state, you don't realize everybody take a dump, right? And so you hate the new dumper when you find out about it. You hate the, oh, they told me they dumb, they mean, right? And you hate them. But once your heart is renewed, you cannot hate them. You will pray for them, not hate them. You can't help but pray for them. You find something out about someone because everybody got something. I was talking to someone yesterday, like they don't tell people their issues anymore because every time they have done it, they've been judged by it. They later the, the people, they tell other people and they are judged like, and the people act like they are not in a fallen state. They have nothing, right? They act like they are free and they have never gone through that. So that's why I said, stop telling people your stuff. Whatever your situation is, stop telling folks about it. You're being judged. And if, if they're not judging you right then and there, they will. Especially if you start to get, as you grow in life, they will become jealous of it, envy of it. They will not love you. They will tell it. But you will get to the point, it wouldn't matter though, what people think about you. You will overcome that anyway. But why put your business out there? They can't help you. There's nothing they can do. So once you, the heart is renewed from evil, from hate to love, you now have the light of God fighting with the ego. Because all that junk that you picked up is just ego. You know, when you become a slut, when you become a slut maker, when you become a drug addict, when you become uh, whatever you're into, no matter what it is, married three women, whatever it is, or higher, right? And, and you start, you hate yourself for that. You want to overcome it. You judge yourself, but you cannot overcome it. And the more you judge yourself for being that way, the worse you get. But, and you cannot overcome it because you don't have the power to overcome. It's a spiritual battle. But once you are born again of God, your heart is renewed first. What's so interesting about this, like we, we judge each other based on that fallen state. Oh, I can't believe you, a slut. Right? Like you better. God doesn't judge us based on that at all. He can care less about that because he knows why you're in that situation. He knows you've been turned away from the father. Satan is your daddy, and now you have his nature, so you're going to live his life. It's demeaning, it's evil, it's hateful, it's judgmental. It'll make you judge yourself, right? You literally cannot help it, and you have no way of overcoming it. Because even if you go to, uh, what's the name of that group that said you have to go there and you stand up and say, my name is Alcohol Anonymous, right? You can't overcome by going to a group. Because all they do is assign someone else to you, and when you're about to take a drink, you have to call them up. Hey, I'm about to take a drink. Help me. And they're already drunk. <laughs> I can't help you. I'm feeling pretty good myself. <laughs> so, and I, I'll come to you in a minute, Mary. So you literally cannot overcome that stuff because you have no power to. Of ourselves, we can do nothing. And of ourselves, we know nothing. So when you judge yourself, you're giving the devil exactly what he wants to make, to make you get deeper into darkness. Right? You can't overcome that stuff. It's a spiritual battle. You're in it because you fell away from the Father, fell away from the light. I want you to really understand that. I didn't know that before, that you must be born again. So what happened is uh, once you're born again, the ego is now subject to God, and he will fight the battle. He will get rid of it for you. And when the ego is gone, all that stuff is gone too. It, it disappears, whatever you're into. Uh, but when you don't have God, you're just going to catch hell forever. 
And if you overcome, some people overcome doing one thing, but all they do is find another God. They'll never become themselves. They never know themselves. They may overcome drinking, but now they smoke pot or something, right? <laughs> they, whatever, they eat too much or whatever, right? You just go from one God to another. But now that you have the heart renewed and you have the power of God, because now he's your father again, and your father will fight your battle. He'll, he'll destroy the ego. And you have no idea how deep the ego runs. It's deep. Someone can look at you in a certain way and you'll feel good about it. And it makes you think you're important. That's ego. Really. So God will fight that battle for you. <clears throat> and the real important thing is God will renew your heart while you're in that fallen state. You seek him. He renewed the heart first. He doesn't clean up your job first. He doesn't stop you from being a drug addict right away. Have you noticed that? He doesn't clean your house right away, right? But what he does, he cleaned the heart. He's about love. He cleaned it from hate to love. Then he cleaned up all the other stuff. So don't worry about it. You will overcome it. You have no other choice because now the power of God is working through you to destroy the, the darkness. So stop fighting with yourself about that stuff. There's nothing you can do about it. And just think about this. We judge one another in, while you're in that fallen state, and we are no better. Where God doesn't judge us in the fallen state, and he still renews our heart because he knows that we can't help him. He's not, he knows why we're doing this stuff. We're in a fallen state. We can't help ourselves. But he will take it away from you. Stop trying to fight your battle. He will fight it for you. It's all spiritual. And once you return to him, he will clean you up. He'll take away all that stuff. That makes sense? But prior to that, the renewal of the heart, being born again of God, the flesh is subject to the ego. You know, hear Christians say, well, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, right? They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> really. It's, it's just a nice little saying. But God will change your heart first. He'll bring you to the kingdom. Why you have all that junk? But he renews the heart. You cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven within with an angry heart. And anyone, anyone, I don't care who it is, who has anger, Satan is your daddy. You can lie to yourself because angry people make up excuses all the time. Oh, I'm angry because the cat fell out the window. <laughs> uh, I'm angry because... Racism. I'm angry because of white supremacy. All lies. You're just making up excuses. You made me angry. No one can make you angry. If you don't have it in you, no one can bring it out. They can only bring out what's in you. And so God will renew your heart, and then he will clean the mess up. Don't worry about the mess. You can't do anything about it. That makes sense? So you're living with the ego, and that's what the ego keep bringing you down, making you deeper into it. All right? Yes, Mary? So, so go through the born again experience again? Go through the born again experience. Um, I'll use myself. I've been seeking God for a long time, right? I remember as a kid, I was talking to my best friend down in Alabama last night by phone, and he was telling me experiences he had seeking God while he was growing up. But I remember going to church and hearing about God. And they would say, oh, God is love. And if you love God, you can have an amazing life on earth. You can have peace on earth, right? And I was thinking as a kid, I would love to be a son of God because I wanted that peace on earth. I didn't want to wait till I die. You know how folks say, oh, when you die, you're going to heaven. Who want to wait until then? <laughs> if God is God, why can't you have it now? You know what I'm saying? Why doesn't he want us to be happy now, have peace now? And so I used to say, I want to be a son of God. And I remember walking down the road, I've told this before, and I was like, I don't know if I would test him or not, I was a kid, but I would say, okay, if, if, there, if there is a God, if you're really God, let me know by let it rain right now. I was a little kid, 
And lo and behold, it was a bright, sunshiny Alabama day. It was start raining. I was like, what the? <laughs> but it would rain down in front of me, not on me. And then it would stop. And I remember one time I asked him, I'm like, this is a tough one. So I said, God, and I said, I'm going to be specific about this, right? If, if you're really God, if there's a God, let it thunder in the West right now. And it thundered just like that. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> that was ama- what was amazing about it is that I had sense enough to ask, and he did it. And that was my confirmation. What if it was the devil? So what? What if it was the devil? No, the devil doesn't have that. It wasn't the devil. See, same time put down in my mind. No. But so Mary, so the point is um, the heart is wicked. Someone mentioned it earlier, it is pure evil. The heart is wicked, right? And what God is trying to do is create love through us. And so what he does for those who are seeking him, he will bring you back to him, but he, will, he won't let you in until you go and forgive so he can renew your heart from hate to love. Then he'll bring you into the kingdom. And now God is over the nature of Satan, the ego. He's in control within you. He's over that, and the light is shining on that evil, dark spirit, and it's destroying it. It's fighting your battle. He's fighting your battle for you. You can't fight it on your own. And so what happened, no matter if you're a drug addict, alcoholic, and I keep using that, but whatever you are, a lesbian, a homosexual, whatever, right? He would cleanse that from you. You can't take that away from yourself. And so he would take care of that because it's all ego. It is the nature of Satan, and he would take it away after he bring you back into the kingdom because he, he's not going to help the children of Satan unless they are seeking him. And so once you come back to the Father, you now have, that's why it says uh, all things are possible for those who believe. And once you come back to the Father, you can never doubt again. No such thing as doubt. And all things are possible. There's nothing that you cannot overcome. That makes sense, Mary? Anybody disagree with it? I saw your hand, right? Okay, right here, last, last one on you. Anybody, dis- do y'all understand that? I have never heard anyone say that before. I didn't know I had to come back to the Father first for him to fight my battles. I thought somehow or another he was going to fight him while I'm in this fallen state. He was going to clean up the job, but he would not do it. You know what I mean? But once you come back to him, he take care of his own. He loves us. He would clean all that stuff up. Yes, sir. And then I'll take you, Hermes. Um, when you guys were explaining the, the, the question for the week, um, it kind of reminded me when I was younger in high school when I used to listen to Kanye oh, West. Oh, let me say this. What I realized, excuse me, for the Bible thumpers, the reason they don't change because their hearts have not been changed. It has not been changed from hate to love. They know the Bible. They can quote the scriptures, but their hearts are still wicked. And that's why they don't change. And they make up excuses and say, oh, well, it's going to happen when I get to heaven. Or all kind of excuses. Because angry people always have excuses. Mm-hmm. Satan give you a bunch of excuses. But children of God have no excuses. It's impossible. Isn't that amazing?